oh you trying to jump parole all y'all breakfast is cancelled maybe here get some stuff in a plastic bag y'all need to go get 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 out what is up youtube what's cool what's great what's happening it's time for life and it's also time for another love after luck of baby so today we are looking at jessica and maurice now maurice is going to have a hard talk with his father-in-law I was confused. I always forget that these two are married. I always forget Jessica and Maurice are married, but they are married. And he's going to have a hard talk with his father-in-law, who he's never met until this time. Let's just see what they get into. My first impression of Maurice is, I think he has a very sweet personality. But I do worry why they're getting everything straightened out um, with the parole. I don't think he's really conning us, but I could be wrong. It's good. Yes, you could be. This is the thing with Maurice, with a lot of these people, they are very like, they're smooth talkers. Obviously, they, most of them know how to con people. Obviously, that's why they were inmates in the first place. I mean, I think that's one of your character traits that, that most, I don't say all, but most um, inmates would have. Um, so they're very good at smooth talking and stuff like that. But at these parents, back at the back of their mind, they're still like, there is something that took you to prison. There's some crowds that you were roaming with and, and dealing with that were not all the way correct. And we don't want any parts of it. Like, obviously, there's going to be some concern. He's a family man. He's a hard worker. But don't piss him off and don't f with his family. There are rules. I don't want any of those old guys from your old life knowing who we are and where we are. I guess this is a very important point that... Um, Jessica's dad is making like obviously he's from this lifestyle and he, he has his, his his friends his buddies that are in that lifestyle like remember when they went to his cousin's house and he just showed him like a flip book of obituaries of all the people that they used to know that are all that they've all kicked the bucket like it was crazy and Jessica was just in the corner kind of like I'm bored why am I here in Compton this place is not safe I don't feel good I want to go home yeah but yeah that's the kind of lifestyle that he used to live. That's the kind of people he used to, you know, roam with. So it's, it's, hmm. But still, before in my last video, one of my last videos, I said, if I were them, oh, you trying to jump parole? All y'all, breakfast is canceled. Maybe here, get some stuff in a plastic bag. Y'all need to go. Get, get, get out. Because, like, if you, if you entertain this stuff, that's when stuff goes wrong. But... I guess this is very interesting and crucial information that he's giving. He just wants to do that father-in-law talk. I was like, let this seep into your brain. I'm going to say this once and once only. So as you can see, Maurice is very like pensive. He's really like listening to what the guy's saying. Well, it's going to take him to a roller coaster of emotions you're about to see. Now, I'm taking care of my family. And I want it known hell's going to come down if something happens. I don't get these type of talks. My mom tried the best she did. But I'm not going to lie, the hood did the rest for me. Damn. Wow. When he said that, I was like, wow, the hood did the rest for him. That's very frank. And yeah, he's, he's very open. He's not like, oh, you know, he's very open about the life that he used to lead, but he just does not want that again. This is a hard working guy who has managed to build up this nice house and everything. Like, he's a family guy and he will not let anything happen. Like, Maurice better take very well good care of Jessica. This is a secure place. Jessica loves him despite anything that the family is saying. Like, he better know what he's doing and better not mess this up. It's only two things out of that life. Dead or in prison. That's it. I've done the prison part. I want to live. I don't give a Amen. damn about the tattoos. I don't care that you're black. Well, I'm telling you, you got a perfect opportunity here. I never... Exactly. He does have a perfect opportunity. He's married into a wealthy family. Let's just keep it real. These people are rich, okay? He's married into a wealthy family. He's even lucky that he's already married. Like, he doesn't have to plan all that on the outside. They make it all kinds of glamorous. They did it in prison. Jessica was fine with it. They're married. That part is out. He's being accepted by Jessica, not her sister, because she doesn't want to talk to Jessica again as long as she's married to Maurice or dealing with Maurice in any way. The family don't care that he has tattoos, don't care that he's black, and obviously don't care that he, he's an ex-inmate because they're willing to take him in. You see, this is what I was saying about uh, Quaylon and Chevelle. Here's the thing. Everybody's against, 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 pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, but she is going to stay with Quaylon. Like, nothing is going to prevent Chevelle with being, from being with Quaylon because she loves him so and all the rest of it. In the same way, I like how 
these people are saying listen the damage is done she's married to this guy now so in order for her not to go through heartbreak and divorce let's see this guy like people do change let's give him a chance one one chance okay and see if this works so i'm interested to see how this relationship works as opposed to quaylen and chevelle now they've got one up on quaylen and chevelle because quaylen and chevelle are not married yet and chevelle said he better put a ring on it within six months so that there's that pressure there and quaylen is like but i want us to get familiar so yeah in that sense these people have one up on them they are already married and the whole entire family system seems to be okay with it like when they were at um, in compton at um maurice's cousin's place i didn't hear anything about the cousin being all kinds of awkward to jessica and stuff like that she just didn't gel well with the flow the family unit and how they do their things although i must say i forgot maurice has a kid and uh, his baby mama wasn't too pleased with jessica and that doesn't help because they're going to be in close contact at least on the phone to be talking about their daughter so i don't know but anyway it is nice to see i say all that to say that it is nice to see that um, jessica's dad and the mom they seem very accepting right even though the, their other daughter is not accepting they're accepting because they just want this to go well now let's see how that works versus people who don't get that support I'm not saying that that's the only factor there's a lot of other factors that that are in play but that's one of them support of the family is one of them like i said in another video Chevelle was saying i didn't marry the f i'm not with the family i'm not going to marry the family or whatever I'm like nah is that Chevelle who said that i think so it's not true when you marry a person you marry the entire family because they can really be whispering things into your significant other's ear and it can be so powerful in any case let's see what they do now never had a son Oh, so that's what he meant with perfect opportunity. I've been doing all that rambling, but what he meant is he's never had a son. So he's excited to finally have a son. Okay. And I would like to have a son. I'd like to have somebody that... Wow. Is his voice breaking there? Like his demeanor changed completely. He's like, he's, he's become so soft all of a sudden. Wow. I did not expect that to happen. We can go fishing. We can work on projects around the house. I don't want words, I want my actions. I don't... That's the louder word. You see, there comes that, that slick stuff. There comes that smooth talk. Actions speak louder than words. Okay, Maurice, we want to see it. And I'm taking your word. Keep it. I know you want to be with her, but you got to do the best thing for her. <laughs> Look at his face here. He looks like a puppy. Oh my goodness. He looks so like he's been through so many emotions. He started off with, I'm kind of scared. What's this guy going to say? To, yeah, I can be your son. To, oh gosh, now he's still going to read me. He's still going to tell me what I need to know about myself. I finally got a oh. taste of what home is. And now I got to go back to LA. You think? Ah. This is crazy. This is one crazy story, but anyway, I've been rambling for long enough. They should have done this in the beginning. I'm even surprised that the, the parents are in support of all this, knowing that he has jumped parole to a whole other state. Um, I wouldn't be happy with that. But anyway, the dad has said what he needs to say, and now you just hope that they adhere to whatever they need to do and do things the right way. In any case, new couple, every weekday, so new couple, yeah, you'll see a new couple tomorrow. In the meantime, make sure you hit bomb stomp as on turn that subscribe button. Comment, because I really want to know what you think. Is this smooth talking or is this really him stepping up and wanting to be a better man? Hmm. Is he gonna abuse the wealth of this family or is he really, really deeply madly in love with Jessica? Hmm. Like, because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell as you're at it. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow, <laughs> club daily videos. And um, midtime. For glorious life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.